Hey, welcome to a new episode. It's going to be a pretty crazy two days. We just arrived up here in the BC circuit. We're uh, chilling with the guys from Power Vehicles, Andy and Emily, and we're going to be shooting a bunch of cars. I'm bringing back the NSX-R. The one month and a half that I've had with it is over, picking up a new car. Um, so yeah, just stick around and see what we got coming. So part of the idea of me coming here to Ibisu this weekend is to kind of take out some of uh, Andy's uh, really cool cars that he's got uh, either in stock or for customers. Uh, there's always some special stuff that he has. By surprise, however, uh, we came to find out that it's actually the Grit Matsuri here in Higashi. It's not as big as it used to be, but it's still quite a cool event that we are going to take a quick look at because it's kind of like an old take on what Ibisu was always kind of about. There's always the Drift Matsuri and then always the Grit Matsuri and it just makes sense to take a look at the cars that people bring out to these Grip events. And uh, so let's have a quick look through the pits, what's out there. I always liked this event because it kind of brings out the smaller cars, uh, the kind of real amateur stuff that people like to kind of tune up and get ready for track work and just enjoy it, you know what I mean? You don't have to spend a ton of money to prepare uh, a car for a bit of track action. Lots of uh, Hondas, some K cars. Start down at the bottom here and see what we can find. Speaking of K-Cars, little Daihatsu going hard. Eunice Roadster here getting some... Uh... Getting some brake maintenance done. Looks like the pads need a bit of change. Next to the Roadster is the Friend Racing Wide Body Impreza. Bit of a surprise seeing something this high spec at Grip Matsuri. Usually it's kind of smaller, kind of more affordable cars, but this is obviously a bit of a test for this car possibly. So it's pretty sick aero kit with like a spoiler literally sprouting up from underneath here, mounted to a bar welded to the chassis. It's actually very functional. Pretty girthy wide body that kind of continues on to the rear doors and the front end. Carbon splitter and an intake right there on the corner vent. Be cool to see this out in action and maybe also get a look at the engine here. See what it's running under there. Another Subaru Impreza STI, this time very stock looking. And next to it here, this Ari Racing Suzuki Alto Works. I love these cars and I always love seeing them at events like Super Battle and uh, Attack in Scuba. So coming across one here at Ibisu East, always cool. Looks like um, they pulled some seats. It's completely stripped out. Now that will be fun around the Higashi. Don't need to hit brakes much with uh, cars that lightweight. And here's the Mitsubishi. Oh God, what is this? I'm not even sure. But yeah, I mean, the recipe is pretty much the same. You get a bolt-in roll cage, completely stripped out rear, bucket seats, steering wheel, decent suspension, wheels, grippy tires, and you have yourself the perfect kind of weekend time attack car. Further up here, I spotted the DC5 on T37s. Looks like it's a well used example. Carbon bonnet, sort of peeling. Looks like it's been sitting in the sun for ages. Very cool. The unmissable Suzuki Swift. Any grip event in Japan, you'll always find some of these. These are really fun cars. Uh, you can buy them with a manual transmission. The Swift Sport is the one you need to get. And a uh, cheap and easy way to get into some uh, fun grip racing that tracks like Ibisu. There's a couple more roasters here and uh, over there. We'll go and check out that side of things in a bit. And uh, not sure what this V60 Volvo is all about. We've got some serious brakes. So it's a Volvo VST.com. This is the hot version of Volvo's VST V60. Full start. 
I don't think I've seen many of these Polestar Volvos here in Japan. Always cool to see a bit of variety. This Volvo Polestar V60 is definitely something you don't come across often. You might see these at like maybe the Red Speed Super Battle. There's a Volvo VST, so obviously that's probably like a, a tuning company that deals in Volvos here in Japan. Uh, next to the Volvo here, it's E36. Again, perfect example of what you need to go grip racing here in Japan. It's cool to see an import being turned into like a proper time attack car. Again, bucket seats, roll cage, just the, the minimum needed. Of course, it's got the PLAP 3. And yeah, it's a 318 IS. Really cool chassis to kind of base a nice build out of. Nankang tires on BBS rims, stock brakes, obviously upgraded the uh, pads and I hope brake fluid. There's a little Toyota Vitz. <laughs> Check this out. That's a little intake. If you follow it around, you can see it plums right into the airbox. I'm not sure what that's about. But yeah, it's kind of like a cheaper version of a GR Yaris. It's got the Super GT ballast sticker. Yeah, pretty cool. And another one next to it. This is the RS on work rims. It's actually on, it's so quiet. Looks like it's ready to go out. And next to it here, we have another, a third Super Impreza. But uh, I wanted to check out what's out here in the paddock area. Always cool to see a nice MRS. Looks like he's ready to go out. Looks at one point the car used to run a spoiler. Little trio of Eunice Roadsters here. These are definitely cars for purists. I love how they always never exaggerate on tire sizes and wheel sizes, so they always keep the chunky 45, 55 profile sidewall. So it's running AD09 Neovas on NK rims. And this one here on Advan Racing wheels on 052s. So yeah, this is running some serious sticky rubber. And over here, another Yaris. Full stock, 1NZ FE. And over here, there's another E36 next to a Cayman. Cayman's running some insane brake setup. Stop techs. Four pots at the back, and huge six pots at the front. This is some serious, um, serious grip setup. It's got the ProModit sticker, so it's obviously tuned by Komai-san at ProModit. One of the favorites for Porsche tuning in Japan, based out in Chiba. Definitely a shop uh, I need to visit for the channel. I think you guys would love seeing what those guys work on. And again, the last car here. Another E36. Recaro buckets. Momo steering wheel. Advan Niovas on old school E36 BBSs. Oh, this is pretty cool. I saw this out on track before. CRX Del Sol. Always nice to see where are Hondas. I used to remember that these cars actually came out when I originally moved to Japan in the uh, early mid 90s. Uh, and I used to love, there was like a kind of like a teal green. Uh, color offer for these cars, they're always so cool, I always love them. There's a Hachiroku, another Swift Sport, and the little NA we were seeing on track. Oh, I didn't even see this Fitz RS. Loving, there's a T37 at the front. So one of the sketchiest things about uh, Ibisu Higashi is the actual entrance from underneath the, the tunnel here. You kind of cross under the main straight from the other side of the track and it's so narrow it's so narrow so if you have some people actually try with transporters but you kind of have to wait until they open the gate all the way over there to get in crz so the little daihatsu paso i think it's called that we were seeing out on track has just pulled in check out the cutouts on the rear bumper hearts 
overturned number plate, a mounted bike type silencer, and lady driven. Kakui. <laughs> Such a cool little car. It just proves that you don't need to go crazy on you know grip driving. You can have so much fun with little K cars. And this is definitely my favorite. I love the Alto Works. So this is always a really cool viewpoint at Ibisu. You can see the inside, uh, the infield hairpin. So basically, you come down all the way from there, make your way through the corner section, and you loop around and come back here. One of the best places to look out. Potentially shoot if you have a long enough lens. So when I shoot from Ibisu Igashi, I tend to go on the outside of this corner. Uh, if we have access, we can usually actually um, get right up to where those uh, sponge barriers are, or you kind of walk along the wall and you get the cars coming up. From that little control point, you can actually get the cars kind of zooming past you really good place for like high-speed fans. So the cool thing about this event is that, you know, we notice how most people don't really exaggerate when it comes to like, uh, you know, big power or crazy builds, unless you're like friends racing, testing like one of the demo cars. And uh, it's, it's a really good opportunity for you to go out on track and just set up a nice kind of like setup for your car and just practice lines. You know, you just gotta learn how to not only understand the track and all the lines through the corners, but make full use of what you have at your disposal with grip and power and try to perfect that time as you kind of bring as much speed into a corner and kind of use all the space as you exit out, uh, hitting every possible apex and maximizing lap times. And that's pretty much what attracts people to these kind of amateur grip events. There goes the wagon R. School course cars that they have here. There's so many cars that are just sitting. A GTV here, 180. Judging from how clean this is, it's probably one of the latest school cars possibly. So much stuff. And even more up here, here's a more uh, modern Ibisu school car. So yeah, don't forget, if you visit Japan and Ibisu, you can also get some courses from guys like Suenaga teach you how to drive, grip or drift, and uh, have a ton of fun here in Japan. So if there's uh, another really interesting aspect to this circuit, um, it's the toilet. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna take you with me while I go for a slash, but... Western style toilet. And if you open up here, there's a throne. But guys, look at this view. How about a view like this when you, um, sit down in your office. It's ready to go for night sessions with these two projectors. Okay, so the Grip Matsuri is actually held over two different courses. Uh, one is Higashi, we just, uh, we just took a look of. And now we are here down in Nishi, recently repaired Nishi course, which of course had a big landslide two years ago. So it's been uh, slightly reworked up on that section over there. And uh, again, the selection of cars is as diverse as it was at uh, Higashi. So we'll definitely have to take a look through the pits to see what we come across. I just spotted this uh, CRZ here, 
you don't really see these cars being too heavily modified but this is uh, probably like a fuels demo car or a fuels um, customer car that's been built to pretty high spec it's got a compressor from HKS so basically it's it's got the Honda type of hybrid motor assist plus the compressor really cool looking project NK wheels it's got a bit of a wide body thing happening here at the back with some uh, fender flares riveted in there a nice wing yeah it's pretty cool to see a CRZ you know done up as it should is the MRS we were looking at uh, in Higashi another RE racing another RE racing Subaru K car evolution another CRZ nice Evo wagon a Mark X GRMN these are actually really potent cars I remember driving one of these at a press event years back it's got some serious GR calipers race forced T37s pretty cool so many roadsters Miatas it's like the grip driver's favorite ride it's like purity in every form and it really makes you a better driver the more you focus on uh, you know perfecting your skills fit rs again stock it's a good selection of tires nice rims coilovers bucket seat from fit rs to vitz rs it's got a, like a pretty complete roll cage here one with steering wheel bright seat nk's in the back hachiroku Oh god, this is so clean. GTV and T37s. IPF projectors at the front. Carbon hood. This is beautiful. And a Motex sticker on the side. Hmm. Interesting. S2000. Another RX8. We saw the other, uh, the silver RX8 at uh, Higashi. And then with over fenders. Another MRS. And this cool Altezza here. Wow. Damn. It's pretty built. It's a serious looking 3S. Wrapped headers. Aftermarket coils. Upgraded fuel rail. Not sure about that intake of this uh, stock one that's been given the addition of the airbox there. Amazing. Endless brakes. Okay, so I had a chat to uh, Kagotani-san here who actually built the car for the lady driver. So this is a female-owned car and she's been out here at Nishi all Saturday perfecting her setup. So basically the 3S is running a 2.2 stroker and it's got aftermarket electrical throttle. And uh, yeah, it's just a really clean setup. Big brakes, endless brakes at the front. Advan wheels and tires as well. And they're actually they're actually packing up today because the day's uh, the session today has come to, uh, to an end. Most of these cars are actually back tomorrow. It's a it's a two day event. Uh, tomorrow's only the morning. It uh, finishes at twelve, so we might be able to come and have another kind of second look at what people are doing tomorrow. Uh, we're shooting a lot of cars with Andy, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have that much time. But uh, it was fun seeing you know Grip Matsuri again and uh, checking out the cool cars and how people kind of you know. Spend a bit of time enjoying a bit of driving, setting up their cars, and just getting that, nailing that setup uh, with their pride and joy. So, hope you enjoyed it and uh, check back for more from Ibisu. Porca la Madonna, I start filming the fucking tornado rise. Dio cane!